Welcome reception learners, this is lesson number 46. My name is Lee and this is Baby Bear. If you joined us in our last lesson, we used our knowledge of positional language to give and follow directions. Did you give directions to someone to create a picture or a drawing? I wonder how you went. The learning intention for today's lesson is to identify the differences between day and night. Our focus words for this lesson are time, tools, daytime, nighttime, clocks, and measure. When we're talking about time, we use this definition. Time is the duration of an event from the beginning to the end. To start with, Baby Bear, we have got one of my very favourite activities. We love it, don't we, Baby Bear? This is our mystery box. It's a mystery because it has a lid, it has sides, and we can't see inside it. It's a mystery. We have to use our brains and we have to listen to the clues that I give you. And then we need to formulate a guess. We need to predict what's inside. Are you ready for the clue? This clue is a bit different. This clue is a clue that you listen to. Are you ready? It goes like this. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. I'm gonna sing the mystery box song. Are you ready? Something is hiding in the box. Something is hiding in the box. What could it be? What could it be? Something is hiding in the box. I'm excited. Now remember that clue. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. Have you formulated a guess? I have. We have, haven't we? Okay, let's open it up and see what's inside. <gasps> There's lots inside the box, baby bear. So much. Let's have a look. I'm going to put them in front of the box here. Let's take a look. As I bring them out, you can start guessing what you think might be the same of all the things I have in the box. Wow. Lots of different objects, baby bear, inside the box. What do you think? They all have in common. Hmm, have you had a guess? These tools all help us to understand more about time. Do you know what, Baby Bear? It's time we go and get ready for some great learning. Let's go. Okay, Baby Bear, are you ready for learning? Baby Bear? Baby Bear? Oh my goodness, Baby Bear, you're in bed. Oh my goodness, you're asleep. I think you've got your times a bit muddled up, Baby Bear. It is actually daytime, not nighttime. It's not time for sleep. Let's get you up out of bed. Oh my goodness, you've got your dressing gown on. Let's get you out of your nighttime clothes. And let's move your bed over, baby bear. And let's get ready for some learning. Do you know, baby bear, it is a bit tricky sometimes when you get confused with daytime and nighttime. I understand. Do you know that we can also use some other tools to help us measure the time? You can also use your body. Did you know that? I know sometimes my tummy tells me what time it is. I wonder if your tummy does. Have a think. Sometimes my mouth tells me I'm a bit thirsty. And sometimes my tummy tells me I'm hungry. What about you? Does your body tell you different times of the day and what your body might need? Do you know that you can use different other different parts of your body too? Take a look, baby bear. We can use our eyes. Our eyes help us to be able to measure the time. And our ears help us to measure the time as well, baby bear. Do you 
you know, we could pretend over here that these two frames are windows. And baby bear, when you were feeling a bit tired, you could have used your eyes and you could look out the window and you would be able to know what time of day it is. Let's have a look. Let's open this window here. Take a look, baby bear. Use your eyes and let's see what's in this picture. I can see a sky, a blue sky. I can see a big round yellow sun. I can see some grass and some clouds. I can tell from looking that this is a picture of daytime. It's daytime, baby bear. I could also think about what daytime sounds like, baby bear. I could hear some birds chirping. Oh, I can hear some traffic noise. Mm, it's a bit busy, baby bear, on the roads. Oh, I can actually really hear a siren. I could also hear children playing because it's school time. Behind this window, it looks a bit different. Let's take a look. Let's use our eyes. Let's take a look at what we see. I can see dark sky. I can see the moon and stars. My eyes are telling me that it's night time. I wonder what my ears are going to tell me. What does night time sound like? Mm, do you know, baby bear? I'm thinking I can hear maybe night noises of animals in the night. <laughs> That's my owl. Let's think what else I can hear. Not much else. It's very quiet at night because lots of people are sleeping. So I've used my eyes to notice that it's dark. I wonder what else I would see at night time. I might see the street lights. I might see maybe the big moon shining. I still might be able to see some clouds in the sky. So I've been able to use my eyes and ears as a tool to be able to read what time it is. Baby Bear, I've got a great game for us to play. Bear, I wonder if you can help me do some sorting out of some pictures using our knowledge of the daytime and nighttime. Should we use our eyes and our ears to try and determine and sort and classify daytime pictures and nighttime pictures? Are you ready, Bear? Let's have a go. Here's our first picture. It's tricky to see because it's dark. I can see a sky. I can't see a sun or a moon, but I can see the outline of some animals. Do you think that's a nighttime or a daytime picture, Bear? What do you think at home? You're right, I think it's definitely a nighttime picture. I'm going to put that here. Next picture. Now, are you ready to help me? This is a picture of hmm, a grown up holding the hand of a little girl, and the little girl's got a backpack on. And that gives me a bit of a clue that that little girl might be going to school. And I can see some light and some green trees in the background. Do you think that's daytime or nighttime? Daytime. We'll put that in the daytime category. Next picture, are you ready? I can see a little boy. I can see him sitting down having something to eat. In the background, I can see some light coming through the window and some green leaves. Do you think it's daytime or nighttime? I think it's definitely daytime. Okay, another picture. Let's see if we can work this one out. This one is at the beach, I think. Baby bear, I can see 
blue sky, I can see some clouds, I can see sand and the blue sea. I think this one is definitely daytime. Two more pictures to sort and classify. Let's take a look at this one. I can see, I think it might be a mummy or a grown up reading or looking maybe at a screen and it looks very dark around the outside. Do you think that's a daytime or a nighttime picture? My guess is it's a nighttime picture. We'll put that in the nighttime category. And one last one. Let's use our eyes as a tool to measure and see if we think this is daytime or nighttime. I can see some outlines of buildings. I can see some street lights and I can see a dark sky. Do you think it's daytime or nighttime? You're right, baby bear. It's a nighttime picture. Let's take a look at our pictures and how we've sorted and classified them. We've got our daytime pictures here, we've got the picture of the little girl and the grown up going to school, we've got a picture of someone eating, maybe breakfast, and we've got a picture of the beach. We also, in the nighttime category, we've got a picture of some sheep, I think they are, out in the farm at night when the sun's gone down. I can see a picture of someone looking at a screen, maybe having a bedtime story. And I can also see a picture of the streets and the street lights and even some traffic lights in the nighttime category. We did a great job, didn't we, baby bear? Do you know, I wonder if at home you could even make your own chart. Perhaps you could have a daytime section and a nighttime section and you could maybe look at some old magazines or draw some pictures and categorise events that happen in the day and events that happen at night. Remember, you can use your knowledge of daytime and nighttime and your eyes and ears to make your judgments. So, in today's lesson, Baby Bear, we explored tools that help us understand time and we explored the differences between daytime and nighttime. Our focus words for today's lesson were time, tools, daytime, nighttime, clocks, and measure. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I know we did, and we hope to see you next time. Bye. Say bye, baby bear.